Hey everyone, Sharon here, how are you? Um, I am going to show you something of the new artisan waxes. Well, they're new to me, to my shop. If you're here in on my page often, you would have seen my post that I'm stocking the beautiful artisan paints. Actually, I've got some of them sitting up there on the table right there, um, along with my packing tape. I've been packing orders this morning, guys. So I've done this dresser in the gorgeous duck egg color. Isn't that pretty? It probably doesn't show as accurately on the camera there, but um, <clears throat> let me know if you're tuning in this morning. It's 11.40 here in sunny Queensland. And um, I'm actually just gonna be talking about their wax. So Artisan's Wax, and this is the first time that I've actually used Artisan's Ergonomic Wax Brush. Check it out. It has um, the most soft, gorgeous, soft natural br bristles. They're really, 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 really soft and beautiful. Um, and a nice wood, you know, you can just grab it with your hand and wax. So can't wait to use that. This is my first time using it. Now the wax, the clear wax by Artisan. Beautiful, smooth, soft, and smells divine. So I'm just gonna dig right in. Hi, Alison, how are you? Hi, Kathy, hi, Dawn. Um, lovely of you to join me. So we're just gonna, whoop, just gonna pop the brush on there. It's a pear smell. I'm, it's just beautiful. It smells like those gorgeous candles that you get. So all we do when we're waxing, I'm sitting on the ground, guys. I'm actually sitting on a little box. I thought I've got to get down instead of lifting this up onto a table or something. I'm just going to show you a little portion of really how easy it is to wax. But this is the gorgeous br brushes. You can get those in my irestorestuff.com shop if you're in Australia. I ship Australia-wide. So I've just put some wax on the end here. And let's just go ahead and do this front of this drawer here just to show you. So the wax brush gets into all the grooves. So imagine if you were using one of the, um, the like the black wax or the white wax or the antique wax, which are also available, then those colored waxes will get all into those nice grooves. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of rubbing in here of the wax because you saw how little I had on the brush. You don't want too much wax to just be sitting in the one spot. So the brush makes it easy to just swirl it around, move it around all over. And you can see a slight, I don't know if you can see that slight color variation. Just when you um, add a finish to chalk paint. So this is the lovely artisan chalk finish. Um, it's actually quite a smooth finish for a chalk paint. I like it. But when you add the wax or a sealer, it'll slightly deepen that color to a more what the to more like what the actual color is supposed to be. This is the gorgeous color duck egg. And now the paints come in a one liter, which will get you painting a lot of furniture or a 200 ml pot. I'm done here. I'm just messing around. Okay. But see how easy it is to just use that handle on that brush. And then I just get a lint-free cloth. Now I've just cut up some t-shirts to use, white t-shirt for the clear wax. You wanna remove any excess wax. Let me just do that by wiping along here. If you've got any questions, let me know. Hi Fran, watching from Washington and Iowa. No pad, it's not available in the USA. This is an Aussie made uh, paint, an Australian company, so available right here in Australia. So what I wanna do is remove the excess of the wax and then just leave it a couple of minutes and have, have another whiff of your gorgeous wax. <laughs> it's just so yummy. It just makes you wanna eat it, but don't eat it. But having said that, let me just pop my glasses on and read you the back of the wax. Um, thinkers. I think ingredients are really important and Artisan prides themselves in having natural products that without all the nasty chemicals and the VOCs and all of those kind of things. Um, Artisan finishing wax is made with natural beeswax and canorba so that gives it its nice soft application. It contains no silicon so that's a good thing um, and you just have to keep the tin closed to prevent any drying out of the wax but yeah 
ideal to use on painted, polished or raw timber surfaces. So yeah, absolutely good for raw timber as well. So this will really rejuvenate your timber if you've got some of those worn out dried timbers. Wax is really good for that. You just apply a thin even layer with a brush or soft cloth. So you can use a cloth to actually apply it. I used a brush because I love the lovely long bristles that will get into all of the grooves and crevices. Anyway, once you've left it on there for a couple of minutes, get a clean part of your cloth. And what we do is just buff. So your wax, when you're waxing, should not have any tackiness whatsoever. So right now, because I haven't buffed down here, well, it's not too bad because I actually kind of rubbed it on and remove the excess, but it should be nice and smooth to the touch. If you're feeling any tackiness, then you've either got too much wax on your piece or you haven't removed the, you know, so you've got to remove the excess, but also be careful not to apply way too much. So we're just doing a buffing, so it should be all beautiful and smooth. And that's the um, gorgeous scent. It doesn't stay on there forever once you've, once the wax hardened, hardens after a little while, the smell will disappear. That beautiful pear smell that is so lovely to work with rather than the stinky chemical smells. I just wanted to show you, see if you can see the difference in the colour, the tone of those two drawers there, see? So this is unwaxed, the bottom one, and this one's waxed. So it's lovely, smooth, oh, it just gives it a really professional feel to your furniture pieces. I do love wax. Now remember, no matter what you're using, wax or paint, it always requires a curing time. So curing is when, hi Kerry, thanks for joining. Um, so curing is the ability for the paint or the product to evaporate every last drop of any moisture. Um, so that's what curing time is and curing is really important. So if you've painted a piece, I painted this one last week, I believe. And so you should leave that cure so it's dry, definitely dry. I can touch it, I can place light things on top of it, but curing time is allowing every bit of moisture to evaporate from that. You should have a curing time of most products for about 21 to 30 days. And that means that you're just allowing it to sit there. What I do is I leave my drawers open. So if I've painted and waxed this piece, I'd leave the drawers slightly ajar and I won't be putting any vases or heavy picture frames or anything on top of this for the next 21 to 30 days. It's really important that you do that because it allows that, especially in humid um, or high damp areas, um, it'll take even longer to dry. So curing time is important. The more layers you put on pieces of furniture, so say for example you've put on a couple of coats of paint plus a wax, just make sure that you really adhere to those curing times before using it heavily. So just went through there. How to wax using the gorgeous Artisan Clear Wax on your piece of furniture. And if you're just joining me, I <coughs> have just gone through um, how to wax and I've used the Artisan's Ergonomic Wax Brush, which is really so easy to just grab onto and wax with. So if you missed that, you can catch it all on the replay and I will catch you next time. Oh, and if you did want to have a look, I do have I've just done up a few little cards here of all the gorgeous artisan colours. So this colour I've used on, this one is the gorgeous duck egg right here. So see that green? Beautiful colours. So they've got 30 colours in the range. You can grab those on my website, irestorestuff.com, right here in Australia. And if you're not on my newsletter or email list, uh, let me know, send me a message with your email, I'll add it on there, or just go to my website and in the contact section there's a place where you can add your email and um, catch up on all the latest product news, get some free tips and tutorials. And um, I will catch you, I'm actually live tomorrow at 10 o'clock a.m. or in the USA 7 p.m. over on the Essential Stencil page. So you can catch me live over there tomorrow and I'll be stenciling a project. Not, a, not sure exactly what yet, but they've got some gorgeous new summer stencils for my USA and Canadian friends over there watching. I um, hope you'll join me over there on Essential tomorrow and I'll catch you for another live here on my page next week. Bye.